Hello everyone, my name is Esper and welcome back to my let's play of the game Gothic. Now in this episode we are continuing to explore the old camp to some extent. So let's walk over here. And there's a guy sitting in there and his name is Whistler. Now uh, this guy has a problem. He wants to buy a sword from the guy named Fisk. And the thing is they had a conflict. So uh, he'll give you 100 ore for you to buy that sword. Now I can just run off with the ore, but I'm not going to do that because I think that the experience that you get from this quest is well worth it. So we, we walk hey here. man, I'm Fisk. So this is Fisk. He's a trader, obviously from the marketplace, and we're in the marketplace right now. And he also sells digger's, tra digger's trousers, well, but uh, I think that they are not worth the money. Uh, some kind of uh, the uh, starter armor, and he has this piece of a dialogue. And uh, basically, he wants 110 ore for his sword. Now, you don't tell him about the whistler and say that you'll talk to him later, and then you go back to whistler. So now you just tell Whistler that uh, Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now, and uh, then he, Here, take he just gives you that uh, 10 ore and you go back to Fisk. And then you just buy the sword from Fisk. I'd like to. Yeah. There you go. And I could just run off with the sword right now, but uh, if I open my inventory. You can see that I have a similar sword that deals the same amount of damage. The only difference is that it requires more strength, but since I've learned some skill from the Yale, I can afford using that sword, so I don't really need Whistler's sword right now, so I'm just going to give that sword to him. Hey Whistler. Hey Whistler. My heavy sword. And there you go. 200 experience and a vote from Shadow. So let's move on. So across the marketplace and uh, then forward some more, we've uh, almost made a loophole around the old camp, and here's Mordrag everyone speaks about. Hey, newcomer! I'm Mordrag! Yes. Uh, so we don't actually get rid of him, but instead we tell him he has a problem with the old camp. And then we show the interest in the new camp in joining the new camp to be exact and uh, by that uh, he becomes our companion and uh, he'll show us the way to the new camp and then we uh, exit the old camp through the back gate with him and then where he takes us is actually to these uh, two goblins and a hut that uh, I started my third episode at so we'll be right back and we're at the place. So having a companion in this game is really good because any monster this guy kills will give us uh, full experience without any penalty. So if he just stops doing that, there we go. He's gonna kill some goblins for us and we just get free experience, yay! There we go. And uh, we're heading onwards and there's gonna be some more animals and I'll just get free experience and he'll just do all the work. You can also lure some enemies to your companion so that he'll kill them for you, but keep in mind that if you go too far from your companion he'll just quick travel to the last point of his route and you don't want that to happen so keep that in mind and there's a wolf over here I'll get him. yeah and there's another one come on yeah fight him come on, get get the wolf yes and i am not able to loot wolves right now because i don't have any skills in doing that and there's also a guy from the new camp in here. His name is Aiden and he's just another hunter. So he can teach you 
normal hunter stuff. And that's it. And I'm just gonna wrap him right now in front of him. There you go. And he has a chest. It is not open. And it is not locked, I mean. And there we go. And some more goblins. Jackpot. Yeah. Get them. Get them. On. Yeah. And then there's a chest near a campfire. And the combination is left, left, right. And it has a bunch of stuff. And a good amount of ore. Level up! I'm level 3 now. So, to my right you can see this path that I just went down to get to this place. And to my left there is this crack in the mountain. And it is actually the entrance to the new camp. Now what I want to show you is that there are wasps. And since I got a little upgrade in strength and, uh, and I have found a, a nice sword, I can easily kill them in two hits. Now beware that since I've got uh, no HP upgrades and no armor, they can kill me in two hits as well, but they are pretty easy to kill, so if you are just a little bit careful, you can easily farm on these guys. They are actually called blood flies, and they drop wings. So, after I cleared up some of this area, we can actually visit the new camp. Now, before we do that, we have to talk to Mordrak some Well, here we are. Yep. So, basically, he tells you that uh, if you want to join the new camp, you have to talk to Laris, and uh, he also gives you a ring that serves as a proof that uh, Mordek actually sent you to Laris. He also decides to stay here instead of going back to the old camp, which uh, works really nice for the quest that Tharos gave you. So I'll have to keep that in mind for the future. Now, uh, in the new camp, the first area that you visit is this rice field with peasants. And some of the peasants have names, so let's talk to them. First one of them is Pok. Now, uh, Pok is just a random peasant that uh, doesn't have anything of the main story to tell you, nor any quests, he just tells you he the story of his own life, so that's it for him. And then there's Rufus. Now, Rufus is a little bit more important, but only if you haven't played this game yet. Uh, he just tells you that Lefty uh, forces him to work since uh, Rufus arrived in this place. And then that the Rice Lord is a guy that uh, was one of the founders of this camp, but right now Rice Lord is not doing anything, so he's just uh, fighting up his stomach. And then there's a third named peasant, whose name is Haritio. What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? And he actually is a nice guy, so if you talk nicely to him, he'll tell you that he got here because he accidentally killed the guy now. Uh, he did that because he could not measure his own strength, because he was a blacksmith before. So, uh, if you... Uh, he can teach you how to be stronger, but only if you tell him why do you need that. So this is a little side quest for you, and I don't have a right Good. option right now, so that's it for the peasants for now. And then there are two of these fellas, the Rice Lord, and then there's Lefty. Hey, just arrived! Yeah, so he wants you to deliver some fresh water to the peasants, and the best course of action is uh, to agree with him for now. And then you go to the Rice Lord, and he gives you 12 water bottles for the peasant, for you to deliver. And uh, the thing is, in this game, there's kind of a bug, uh, so that you can uh, ask him for more uh, water, and then even more water, and he'll give you basically the infinite amount of water bottles in the packs of 12 each time. And uh, you can uh, deliver the water to the peasants, or you can skip that thing. The only thing you need to know is that you have to fight Lefty anyway uh, to finish the quest uh, and well uh, how to deliver uh, the water is you just uh, talk to them and then there's Lefty this, sent me. this dialogue and each time you deliver you have to see them drink it so that's ridiculous and 
Thanks. It's a waste of time, but I'm going to do that anyway, but I'm going to do that off camera, so I'll just show you what happens and I'll be right back. So after you've done that, you go to left again and then he stops you. Hey, you! Yep, and basically he says good job and you'll uh, do that every day from now on. And uh, I don't want to do that and no one wants to do that and you don't get anything from now on. So uh, you'll just have to fight him later and that's it. And then there are these guys. Do you intend to go through this gate? Yep, and uh, there's nothing wrong in that. He just explains that they are mercenaries of the uh, water mages. And that water mages have a plan to escape yep. uh, out of this place, out of the colony. And to do that they are gathering amount of ore and then they are going to explode the barrier. But it's not going to work, spoilers. And let's walk into the actual camp right now. So there's Homer. Now, he was the main, uh, the master builder of the dam that we are standing on right now. And then there's a problem. A creature named Lurker is actually destroying this dam uh, slowly. So I have to kill that creature. Now, I can find this creature Course. on the far side of uh, this lake. But I'm not going to do that right now because Lurker is a pretty strong creature for me right now. So, if I go over here... You can see that, whoa, there's all this thing in a cave. And this is actually the core, the main uh, complex of the new camp. So I'll explore that right now. So I have decided that I'll go right and then I'll explore the camp counterclockwise. And the first person we meet is Gorn. Hey, a new face! Yes. Gorn is basically a mercenary of the magicians and he'll allow you to stay in this camp if you uh, kick out Shrike. Shrike is occupying a hut that does not belong to him. And uh, there he is, banging on a wall, that's Shrike, and we'll kick him out later because he's uh, pretty strong for us right now. So then, if you go up here, you'll find Torlov. Now, Torlov is just a generic NPC, they, and he doesn't have anything interesting to say. He'll just uh, tell about his uh, own uh, life story, and that's it. And when you go up here, you find these fellas. Do you know where you're heading? And they'll not stop you in oui. going out Maybe. in Let this me. place. They'll just uh, supporting. Lee. Here's Lee and uh, he's basically the leader of this camp. Now, this is not the old camp, this is the new camp, so uh, this guy does not need any uh, any people to guard him and then he'll basically tell you that uh, the work of the merc mercenaries are basically to guard the mages and then mages give mercenaries some different tasks so there you go, and if you want to join them, he'll just say that he'll observe you and uh, we'll see if you're worth uh, joining the camp for now, so... And then we will not go there because we cannot, these guys will not allow us, uh, the mages, the water mages are in, the, in that direction to go, so let's head down. So there's Gorn and from him you go to the right. And you find this NPC. His name is Blade. Hang on. And he's just another lore teller that doesn't do anything. He just tells you that even though the blue mages are the reason this camp even exists, they don't talk to people and are uh, deep in their research. So the uh, actual ruler right now is Lee, whom we talked with. Uh, so that's all of the mercenaries in this camp that are in this cave. And uh, that's all of the time for today, so thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.